I've always been really fascinated by what drives our behavior, what makes us tick. And so that really motivated my broader interest in better understanding how we think and plan and make decisions and, and can we develop treatments for people with disorders of attention. My name is Brielle Ferguson and I'm an assistant professor of genetics and neurology at Harvard Medical School at Boston Children's Hospital. I would say remember to both zoom in and zoom out. And what I mean by that is with zooming in, find magic in the minutia. The experiments that we do can be incredibly tedious. And I think in those moments we can forget that the most routine thing that we do in a lab, so growing cells in a dish or measuring their activity, is incredible. <laughs> we forget and it's amazing both that that technology exists and that you're able to do it. And then zoom out. A lot of times in the daily grind of the experiments, we can forget the larger question that's motivating us. And so for me, that's coming up with some type of treatment that might ease cognitive dysfunction for people with various disorders. Every day when I come in, I'm slowly inching towards evolving our understanding of that question or that problem. But in the long term, maybe the work I do can actually impact people's lives. One of my biggest passions outside the lab is improving access for underrepresented minorities in science. And towards that end, I've co-founded a nonprofit, Black and Neuro, that seeks to empower Black people interested in pursuing neurosciences by providing resources, increasing visibility, and building community among them. Throughout my, my early career, it was really hard to find people that looked like me, whether it was in my cohort, whether it was at conferences, and when I looked up the academic ladder to see examples of people in positions of power, whether that was running a lab or in leadership roles, it just wasn't there. And I'm hoping that by people seeing me here, they know that they, they can do this and, and that they belong and they matter, and, and this is what a scientist looks like.